hello students in uh, my previous lecture i explained the two modes of conduction for rectifier controlled dc motor drive that is continuous conduction mode and discontinuous conduction mode we discussed the wave forms in both the cases in detail and we had seen that how the power flows in different parts of the cycle in both the conduction modes now in today's lecture we shall do the steady state analysis of rectifier controlled dc drive when the conduction mode is continuous so later on in the next lecture we shall discuss what happens when the conduction is discontinuous so if you see the waveform drawn here it is the waveform of armature voltage for continuous conduction mode where alpha is the firing angle so when the thyristor uh, t1 and t3 are triggered output voltage becomes equal to vm sin omega t that is equal to vs so and after that we trigger the next pair of thyristors and the output voltage becomes equal to minus vs so the waveform is uh, like this it start from alpha and uh, after pi plus alpha the waveform repeats itself or you can say that the frequency of variation of output voltage is a half or you can say that double the frequency of variation of input voltage that is source voltage so if you want to find the average value of this voltage you have to integrate this voltage from alpha to pi plus alpha or from 0 to pi so for convenience i will take the cycle from alpha to pi plus alpha so let us try to find out what is the average output voltage so what is average output voltage and that voltage you have to integrate over the whole cycle of variation and this is from alpha to pi plus alpha and during this interval the output voltage remains equal to vm sin omega t that is equal to vs so this is vm sin omega t and then you have to di divide it by the period of the cycle and that is equal to pi alpha to pi plus alpha that is duration is nothing but pi radius so just integrate it and put the limits and what you will get here it will be 2 vn by pi cos alpha so this is the average value of output voltage in the case of continuous conduction and you can say that alpha can be varied theoretically you can vary alpha from 0 to 180 degrees so cos alpha will be 0 when alpha equal to 90 degrees before that it will be positive for alpha equal to 0 it will be equal to 1 and for alpha equal to pi radians it will be equal to minus 1 so you can say that Va is equal to 2 Vm by pi for alpha equal to 0 that you may call as Va max the maximum value of average output voltage will be for alpha equal to 0 and for alpha equal to uh, 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians Va will be equal to 0 and for alpha equal to say the max, maximum value of alpha alpha equal to pi what is Va? Va will be equal to minus 2 Vm by pi so that is you can say that it is nothing but it is equal to Va minimum value that is equal to minus of minimum max so output voltage will be Va max that is equal to 2 Vm by pi so this is Va max and it will be Va min that is minus Va max so output voltage varies from Va max that is 2 Vm by pi to minus 2 Vm by pi and alpha is varied from 0 to pi radians so this means that there are two situations once Va is greater than uh, 0 that is positive and when the Va is 
less than zero that is it is negative so accordingly the uh, machine can behave in two different quadrants you can you can see that current here cannot be negative because here thyristors are there they are connected like this so this uh, figure shows the you can say the diagram of rectifier controlled uh, dc drive here this symbol shows it is a controlled rectifier thyristor is shown so it is a controlled rectifier this is the input supply is sinusoidal it can be three phase or it can be single phase presently we are discussing single phase supply uh, rectifier so it is single phase supply it can be three phase also same symbol can be used there also so the single phase supply is given here the thyristor and current cannot flow in the reverse direction this means that current has to be always positive but as we have seen here output voltage can be both positive and negative depending on value of alpha so you can say that there are basically two modes of operation or two quadrants in which the machine can operate so let us first discuss the first quadrant operation first quadrant means quadrant of speed versus torque play so this is uh, this will be possibly when va is greater than 0 or alpha is less than 90 degrees first quadrant means it is forward motoring operation so for motoring mode what is the requirement that current should flow like this and uh, the torque produced should be in the direction of speed so suppose the machine is rotating in the forward direction and calling this direction as forward direction and current flowing like this torque is produced in the same direction or you can say that current is and here we have made one assumption here that devices are ideal that is voltage drop in the thyristors and diodes connected here are zero and the flux of the motor is kept constant that is field bending is given a constant voltage supply so these are the assumptions that we had made so here you can say that if you make alpha greater than 90 less than 90 degrees output voltage is positive and current flows like this provided va is more than e so you have to maintain alpha such that the output voltage is greater than e in that case the current flows like this and the energy flows from this uh, rectifier side to the motor side so average energy in one cycle will be positive that is it flows like this during this uh, one part of the cycle here in this case you can see that here the current uh, that we had drawn earl earlier it was somewhat varying like this so during this interval the power flow will be negative but overall power average power always flows from uh, rectifier side to motor side and you can say that it is the motoring operation the machine is behaving as a motor so it is first quadrant operation torque is positive and speed is also positive so if power flows from source to uh, motor that is average power during this interval some part power may be negative but the average power will be positive so it is called the first quadrant operation now as you can see that current cannot reverse so if you recall what uh, i mean by the different quadrants so this is the speed on this side and here i have sent the torque so when the speed is positive torque is positive we call it for first quadrant operation that is the forward motoring operation and when torque is positive but the speed is negative we call it fourth quadrant that is reverse braking operation if speed is positive but the torque is negative we call it third quadrant operation that is the uh, forward braking operation and when both speed and torque are negative we call it fourth quadrant operation that is the reverse motoring operation so for reverse uh, uh, motoring and reverse braking the torque has to be negative and as you have said that flux is constant flux is not reversed this means that uh, for torque to become negative current has to be negative 
but here you can say that current can never flow in the reverse direction so current cannot be negative so this means that third quadrant and fourth quadrant operations are not possible in the rectifier control DC drive without any change in the connections with there are some techniques in which by which you can operate the machine in the third and fourth quadrant but as such as for this connection this is not possible but the fourth quadrant operation is possible so let us see what is the fourth quadrant of operation fine and as you can see that this is possible only when ba is less than 0 or alpha is greater than 90 degrees so when you reverse the output voltage by making alpha greater than 90 degrees you have, here you have made alpha greater than 90 degrees so as per this equation output voltage will be negative so the polarity of average output voltage will be now reversed and if the current flows in the same direction and you can say that the current flows like this so power flows back from motor to source so in that case the uh, this uh, machine behaves as a generator that is it's, it generates energy and it feeds back the energy to the source but how it is possible if this is the situation and you have just reverse alpha then current can never flow in the positive direction for current to become positive to become positive with alpha more than 90 degrees only possibility is that the polarity of back emf or armature emf should reverse only then current can flow in the because this is positive this is trying to flow the current in the reverse direction but current to flow in the positive direction for that then the polarity of the back emf has to reverse it has to become negative and it, ha it has to be like shown in this figure so the polarity of e has to be opposite to what it was in the case of forward motoring mode and that too the value of e should be more than va for current to flow in the clockwise direction so this means that for this mode of operation alpha should be greater than 90 degrees making va less than 0 but you have to maintain that uh, e should also reverse e should also reverse and the magnitude of e should be greater than magnitude of a then only current can flow in the average current can flow in the positive direction so this means that and how e reverses if you recall the equation of back emf it depends on phi and speed phi e have created constant so this means that for reversal of back emf the speed has to reverse so this means that the speed has to reverse so it, has, it will become the counterclockwise direction if it was clockwise in the earlier case it has to become counterclockwise direction and we have to maintain VA such that magnitude of VA is less than magnitude of E so we have to maintain such a value of alpha that causes magnitude of VA to be slightly less than E so that current flows in the clockwise direction in that case the machine starts behaving as a generator and this is possible only when a speed reverses by itself and this will happen in the case of when the motor is connected with some active load torque it is not possible for the passive load torques for active load torques such as some uh, train is moving across the slope and after uh, after certain value the speed reverses train goes in the reverse direction or you can have some lift which is operating such that the speed has reversed because of the torque of the uh, that pulley and torque of the counterweight and 
that will cause reversal of speed and reversal of the bike change. So for this coordinate, it is necessary that the machine is supplying uh, some active load torque and that load torque is now driving the machine. So the mechanical energy comes from that active load torque, active, active load and that is driving the machine in the reverse direction that has caused E to reverse and to maintain a positive torque you have to alter alpha, you have to gradually increase alpha and make it beyond 90 degrees and maintain such a value of alpha that causes Va to be slightly less than E so that current continues to flow in the reverse direction and that will cause braking operation and you can say that torque is still positive, still speed has reversed so the torque generated by the machine will oppose the, mo the motion and it will be a braking operation or the generating operation and energy will be fed back to the source. So these are the two possible modes of operation in the case of rectifier controlled DC drive. And as I said earlier, the third and fourth coordinate operation is not possible in such type of drives. So that is all for this lecture. Thank you.